Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Jamerson. Welcome back to another Jujutsu Kaisen review. And today we are going over the really highly expected, long-awaited chapter 261. I know it's honestly been like a week, but you know, it is what it is. A lot of people are expecting it. It's wondering if Gojo is actually coming back. And um, a lot of people, this, this chapter caused a lot of, you know, discourse and a lot of eager fans uh, for like to... The Jigojo fans especially um but uh personally for me i feel like this chapter is goaded a lot of like great character development from like yuta uh, gojo um it's it's a super great chapter so let's get right into it um so we first left off of where uh ug is basically holding on to sakuna and trying to rip out his heart so basically pondering on like what he's going to do with his heart as he crushes it um but uh sakuna uh was the one that whispered the domain it wasn't somebody else so uh, sakuna about to hit a ug with the domain expansion um but sakuna was caught off guard where he actually saw you know no gojo uh and coming out from the dust and sakuna is honestly taken aback by this whole thing because it's impossible <laughs> um and then it's revealed with the wind um pushing away gojo's hair that there is a scar across the forehead and uh, that basically confirms that this is not gojo this is somebody else and uh sukuna instantly recognizes that it is actually yuta yuta okatsu Kotsu. And he says his name in like, he says his full name, which Sukuna really only do, does that if he respects somebody. Um, uh, he, he did it one other person, I can't, he did that he, he to Higuruma. And so that's like a sign that Sukuna uh, like respects you. And so, and, and, and crazy enough in this page, uh, Sukuna slaps away Yuji, which I'm like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> what the, what, why are you doing my boy Yuji? Like you were... Yuji was fucking him up. Why are you doing this, dude? Uh, Yuji, okay, okay, come on. Um, but yeah, this was definitely surprising. I wasn't expecting Yuta to do like the whole body swap with uh, Kenjaku, uh, to use Kenjaku's uh, body swap ability. Um, this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting like something else. But actually, no, I was expecting Yuta to be able to use Gojo's ability. Um, but I guess I didn't really understand like how jo Gojo's ability works. And so this honestly makes sense. So like I was kind of half right. That Yuta was able to use, uh, you know, the uh, Kenjaku's body swapping ability uh, on Gojo. Um, so we get a flashback where Yuta is discussing his idea of using Rika to copy to eat Kenjaku's body as he kills him and taking the body swapping technique and basically like a last resort um, to use that ability as a last resort to, you know, put. Uh, Yuta's brain into Gojo's brain to like use like Kenjaku has done to Geto and Yuji's mom and uh, like all, so many other people and um, a lot of people um, he's with like Kusakabe, Hikari, uh, Maki, um, a, a couple of people um, he's discussing this with and they are not with this plan um, um, mainly because because this is like inhu inhumane and basically if you do this as a monster and they're worried about like you know trying to keep their humanity intact and um they're worried about you know what would happen with like yuta once like his copy technique which has a limit of five minutes what would happen after that and they may basically theorize that three three things will happen that um Kijaku's ability requires constant activation like he will like he'll die um, because his body and soul won't be able to maintain it. Uh, the second option is that he has to it has to be activated intermediately, uh, so he won't die immediately, but it will only be a matter of time he eventually die. And then the third would be like he only needs, only needs to be activated once, and so even after the five minutes, he'll be able to use the limitless technique, which is cool. Um, but I but basically, Yuta basically is stuck in gojo's body forever and uh he won't be go back to his original body so that might mean that yuta won't be able to use you know his old techniques with like uh rika and stuff like that so there's no copy technique um but uh you know like i said a lot of people are not uh for this plan and this pretty much like pisses uh yuta off which 
it's I, honestly interesting. Uh, the only time that he's really been pissed, like this, this is like the third time that he's been pissed. Uh, I think uh, the first time was when he fought uh, Ghetto um, and uh, JJK Zero, and then the third, the second time was like when like all his friends and stuff uh, was like attacked due to after the Shibuya arc. Um, but um, yeah, he's got pretty pissed off, and like everybody's worried about like keeping the humanity, but. This man, Yuta, is like, yo, fuck all this shit. Like, we're placing, like, we're making Gojo, the, like, burden all, like, shoulder all the responsibility of becoming, like, this monster. Like, why can't, why shouldn't we, you know, step up to his level? Like, and it's very interesting that uh, Yuta, you know, brings this up and just goes to show, like, how good of a teacher that um, Gojo is and, like, further proving his points and also reiterating like gojo's goals of like creating a generation of sorcerers that you know that want to stand next to each other as like you know the, the top sorcerers in the world that like, become monsters just as himself and um yeah this this is like goaded moment goaded moment for this boy uh for this uh for this man Utah here where like you know he's willing to step up and become a monster if no one else will. Uh and then we get like a you know, scene change where Utah uh goes to speak to Gojo to ask for his permission and Gojo is like, you know, I don't care. Uh, I'm not planning on losing so I don't care what you do with my body and um I remember I remember them saying that, you know, losing is, you know, as worse as dying. So if he loses then he might as well die. Um but he doesn't care like what happens to his body. Shows that like he was kind of like upset that Shoko was okay with it. Um, and then they talk about like his um, Yuta talks and brings up to Gojo that uh, he was told by Euro- Eurosong uh, that he's a Fujiwara descendant, even though Gojo said he's a Shugo- Shugawara uh, descendant. And um, you know Gojo. You know, he thought he's he really reiterates that they were distant cousins, but you know they could both be right. Um, so it's kind of interesting um, that the gay gay brings this to attention. I'm kind of like expecting something about this going to come back with like the fact that they're related, or he might actually be a, a Fujiwara or relative or descended. That you know he'll be able to properly use the um, uh, probably use the limitless technique uh, in the six eyes. And um, Gojo also mentions that you know adds supports this this theory of mine that um that you know you uh not you too, <laughs> Yuta all these damn you names uh, might have been born blessed than Gojo so it'd be pretty lame if he didn't take advantage of it so you know maybe Yuta is actually like a prodigy he might be able to use the limitless better than um, Gojo can which would be interesting to see in the next chapter. Um, but, and then, it's a, a nice little moment here that happens between Gojo and, like, his, the original first years from JJK Zero, um, where, like, you know, Gojo tells him, hey, man, I, I told you to, you know, work on your raw, uh, cursed energy and keep that under control, um, and then Gojo tries to tell them, tell his students to, like, you know, go away, because he doesn't want to see them, see him kill the, uh, the, the top sword jujitsu sorcerers, um, I forgot what they called the, at the council or whatever they're called. Uh, so basically confirming that Gojo killed them themselves, which I think they was already confirmed that he killed them. Um, but they refuse. They, um, you know, they stay, they stay there, you know, wanting to shoulder the burden with Gojo themselves, you know, reiterating what you just said that, you know, we're going to shoulder this burden with you. And, um, and that had a little, uh, had a little m- a moment there where uh, Gojo would like I guess he did a flashback with like it was a little thought about like Ghetto there that you know he was left in the uh, he was left in the dust and like he has to become a monster just like uh, you know Ghetto was and I think this it's kind of like about like I, I it's it's honestly I think it's like one of those moments. Like, Gojo is feeling... Yuta is feeling what Gojo felt back in the hidden inventory arc where he decided not to kill his friend and Gojo decided... wanted to keep his humanity and, like, not kill his friend. But 
if he if he killed Ghetto, like you know, all this stuff like wouldn't happen. But uh, or uh, not to directly blame him not killing Ghetto, but you know, um, I, I don't know what I'm going with this, but you know, Yuta, it's kind of like a cycle. What I'm trying to get at is like this, is like a cycle here, like. You just feel in how uh, Ghetto, not Ghetto, uh, how uh, Gojo felt when he let uh, uh, Ghetto like walk away, like he protected his humanity there instead of just, um, you know, doing what he thought was right or what he should have done, or like, you know, sacrifice his humanity to do what like, you know, was good for the greater good. Um, we then get a scene switch with um, Amai, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, explaining his curse technique where he basically can create in a form of like sugar or like amplifying sugar or something like that but it causes him to get like lightheaded and gives him like makes his blood sugar low and we see like a little funny moment with like Yuji eating like the flan that he made which is honestly a little bit weird I'd be freaked out about it myself um <clears throat> excuse me and uh what else happens next? And uh, Shoko basically enlists Amai into the, the the medical team, so they can help, so he can help with putting like red, administering sugar to supplement like the brain doing like a technique activation, um, which seems like it's going to be pretty in the context of things with like Yuta being able to do the body swap. Um, so he's like something that would he that seems like pretty important. And then we get like a, a scene swap back to right after Yuta got, you know, chopped up by Sukuna. Um, even though, um, like his wound, the, the wounds like stopped you from like getting like damaged. Like there's absolutely, basically Yuta is, is like basically on his deathbed right now. And like his reverse curse technique is not really working. Um, right now it's not enough to like heal the damage that was done from um Sukuna's uh dismantle or one of the abilities called the world slashing dismantle and it's also basically confirmed that Gojo the actual Gojo Satoru is actually dead so rest in peace to that man he, he did his thing um and uh you know basically Rika is you know helping you to maintaining his consciousness but he's reaching his limit so they decide to do the body swapping technique and and like I said they confirm that uh Gojo is dead and Rika once the body switching is completed uh Yuta has to has to go full throttle on his reverse her, her, reverse curse technique to finish the, the treatment um and looks like at the end like uh Rika uh, yeah so Rika basically got um Rico was on Yuta's left hand, um, but unfortunately, like he, Yuta had to move him, move her over to his right hand because of um, because he got his arm also got chopped off, so he, <laughs> he won't be able to use the uh, you know Rika by doing that. Um, then we get we get transported back to the present with uh, Yuta and Yuta now in Gojo's body and Sukuna. Uh, performing domain expansion with each other and so the narrator um, basically um, uh, puts a question out there about how can one counter Sukuna's open barrier domain and Gojo um, the original Gojo uh, provided the solution in his fight with them and so we end the chapter with Gojo with the, the best best page that there's ever that Gege has ever drawn with uh, a limited void from from Gojo slash Yuta being open against Malevolent Shrine from Sukuna. And so there's a break next week. So we'll see what happens in chapter 262. So overall, like I said, this is a super great chapter. Um, this is like a super great chapter. A lot of things, but the, the most important thing to take to note from it is like Yuta. Yuta is the main, is the star of this chapter. And just shows like how much he has grown from like this kid who was so scared about like this curse that has been like ruining his life and now we get to see him grow as you know a person and like you know be more confident in like his abilities and being the type of person to shoulder being also a, a person just like gojo the person who saved him and like you know basically his mentor 
being that same type of person who showed the burden to sacrifice his humanity to, you know, fight this, this, like, this sorcerer, this demon sorcerer that's like, basically considered a calamity uh, in, like, history. And, um, yeah, it's just, Yuta uses the star of the chapter, like, everybody else is, like, you know, worried about him, but he's like, yo, fuck that. I don't care. We gotta beat this man. Like, I'll use it as a vast resort. That's my, that's my, good, that's my compromise, but I, I'm going to, like, you know, fuck it up and you know, it's, it's definitely a bittersweet chapter because, you know, this man go to Gojo is still used as a weapon even after his death. But, you know, it's, it, it just honestly, in the, in the context of things, it makes sense that it, this has to be done because this man, Sukuna is Sukuna. Like we've seen him these past few chapters, like pull out binding vows and like special techniques and all this stuff. And like, he's still, like he was just about to use his domain against Yuji, um, like and basically, and this was this needed to be done, unfortunately. And I'm sure, I'm sure Gojo doesn't mind, because um, this is what he wanted. He wanted to create a generation of sorcerers who who are capable of standing next to each other, who are just it's, it's just more even stronger than like special grade than like he is or or, or whatever like, they're basically like equal with each other so nobody would share or something and yuta is the best example of gojo's ideology his goals and motivations that he put into practice um and and further reason why gojo shouldn't even come back and i'm glad that this chapter basically confirms he's not going to come back um at least not how people want him to come back but that is all I have to say about this chapter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, check out my other video, my last video, where I talk about, you know, reason why Gojo shouldn't come back. So let me know what you think about that. Or let me know what you think of this chapter as well. Um, 261, this is definitely like a heartbreaking chapter, to be honest. But um, I'm happy to see, um, you know, Gojo's uh, dreams that he wanted is actually, you know, put into effect. Uh, but you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe. They usually YouTuber stuff. Bye.